Hi, this is David Tunstall and of the Tunstall Organization, and I am going to start out today by uh, going through the Easy Step interview from QuickBooks. This is the first step that you go through uh, when you sign up for QuickBooks. Um, so you've bought your uh, software, you've downloaded it, and now you need to start the interview process. And what this does is it creates a chart of accounts and gets your tax account set up properly. So first thing you do, click Start Interview. Type in your company name. I'm just going to use New Nonprofit. New Nonprofit. So you do the same thing for your company using your specific information. Uh, this company is a nonprofit organization, and it's organized as a nonprofit. So, all of the chart of accounts will have a link, or basically be tagged to nonprofit tax lines on the 990. Fiscal year starts in January. I'll use a very easy Michael Scott password for that. Um, and then files. And now it is set. So now you move to the task of customizing. Does the nonprofit uh, have services, products, or both? Um, I'm going to say both because some some nonprofits actually do sell books or some type of um, products in order to complement any services that they provide. So I'll do both. Do you start charge sales tax? Um, so nonprofits actually do have to collect sales tax uh, on the items they sell. They they sell in in some cases. So I'm going to say yes. And do I want to create estimates? I'm going to say no. Uh, tracking customer orders in QuickBooks. Um, I'm actually going to say yes. Now, QuickBooks uses the term customer, but actually customers are usually donors um, in a nonprofit organization. Then, yeah, they, they could be considered a customer as well. But link statement? Sure. Send us progress invoicing? No. Managing bills you owe? Yes. Tracking inventory? Well, if we're going to be selling books, then I say yes. How many books are there? So yes. You want to track time? Uh, I'm going to say no. And do you have employees? Yes. We have W-2 employees and we have 1099 contractors. Uh, using accounts. Okay, so the chart of accounts is uh, important. You can find out why the chart of accounts is important here and just read all about it. Um, but it's critical in the sense that it's the these are the accounts that make up your financial statements. Your, um, not only the balance sheet, but your profit and loss statement. And uh, so I guess that's important. date to start, to start tracking our finances. Well, today is uh, May 24th, 2011. And beginning, so so we have five months of activity up until today during this year that we've had. We started this year, let's say. Um, we're going to go back to the beginning of the fiscal year. However, if you're just uh, starting out, then you could pick the date or today's date whatever it is that you started, let's say you started last month um, or even two months ago. But uh, I'm actually going to stay the beginning of the fiscal year uh, because I want to go back and capture all the data. It takes a little more time, but anyway. So now here are the income and expense accounts. Income is the same thing as uh, Donations, revenue, uh, any any funds that come through are considered income. 
So for this nonprofit, I am going to say that we get we do special events, we have sales, cost of sales. We do we sell inventory, so that's that. Um, Securities, no, we don't have any of that. We don't buy and sell stock. Uh, rentals, no, we don't do that. Okay, this is an interesting one. Revenue release from restrictions. There are three uh, classes of restrictions in, for nonprofits. Permanently restricted, temporarily restricted, and unrestricted. Uh, and so if a temporarily restricted uh, gift gets sent to the intended um, target uh, for which it's been designated then it needs to be released from that restriction into unrestricted and then sent so this is an important one for that My investment, we may have investment income if we have an endowment, but I'm actually going to, instead of being income, there's something called other income. It goes below the lines. So I am going to call it unrealized gain and losses and probably customize it um, for, uh, you know, any dividends, interests, or realized gains that happen. Um, so anyway, the point of this is just to get something on paper. So say, okay, you're done, go to setup. When I say on paper, I mean get into the system. So once it's into the system, then you can adjust it. I'm actually going to start working. You can add people from your Gmail uh, accounts, Outlook. I'm actually not going to do that because a lot of people that I do business with aren't necessarily my contacts on Gmail or Yahoo or Outlook. So. I'm actually going to cancel that. Um, I could add the products or services I sell, and I could also add my bank accounts, but I'm not going to do that right now. I'm just going to start working. And then this gives you a little tutorial, fine. Then I go to the chart of accounts. Everything's set up. I like to view the open window and see what windows are open. I also like to view one window at a time, so everything's here. So I'm going to click the chart of accounts, and my chart of accounts are set up. I don't have a bank account, I don't have a credit card account, but I do have, it's, it's populated um, income expenses with, uh, you know, all, all of the preset accounts. Um, I can go in and change these, add these, and I can do that by going down here and clicking new or control N and adding account. In this case I'm going to add a bank account. And I'll just call it my checking. Let's see, should I map it? Can I map it? Okay, here it is. Uh, cash. Balance sheet assets cash non interest bearing. So this maps it to the nine ninety part X, 10, I guess, balance sheet assets. So I'll say save and close. That's okay. I don't want to set up my online services yet. I will do that later. And I just to other accounts are mapped. Let's try this. That is not mapped. Hmm. Save and close. Once at the chart of accounts, you can go to customize columns. What this does is add uh, let's add a tax line here and let's add, uh, that's good, let's just add a tax line. We can see that some of these have tax lines like the one I just added. Other those are davidtonstallcpa.com slash blog and you can see um, other entries. So I hope that helped and uh, thank you.